Yeah, it's Ken Barrett, Laundromat How To. I'm uh, just working on one of the big dryers today. Had a bit of an issue with some bearings wore on it. And uh, put some of those on, but it's still rubbing a little. So I'm just going to pull the front off and see what's going on. What you can see here is we got the, the screen pulled out. One of those around here, we've got a bunch of screws holding that in. There's some of the big ones here around the outside that got to come out, and then the ones in the door. Let me just swing that open for a little bit. What you can see here, I'll try and see it, is you can hear that rubbing. What we've got right in, camera here, right in this side there's almost no space. That drum needs to be sitting over about there. So, for whatever reason, when we get around this side, you see there's a big gap there. So, the bearing wheels are down in here. See one there? And there's one on the other side, so we're going to just pull the front off and see why this isn't sitting right straight. You can change the bearings without pulling this off normally, but uh, like I said, it's rubbing on here and what's happening as it goes around, um, clothes are getting caught in caught in it. Where are we here? Clothes are getting caught in and they get damaged as they get squashed through this small piece here. So we'll take the front off and go from there. Okay, so we got all the screws at the front. I just started prying this open. What you'll find in here is you're going to start getting a lot of change and dirt and stuff falling off. One thing you got to watch is this switch here is going to have a wire on the back of it. Um, should shut the power off. It's a low voltage switch, so it's not a big issue. But you just want to make sure you pull this off, that you disconnect that switch. It's pretty easy to break the clip on it, and then your dryer will be down until you get a new, new switch for it. And one of the other things you just need to do is disconnect your... Um, <clears throat> Not just disconnect, but just remove the uh, control panel. Just unlock it, pull it out, and you can just slide it back in out of the way. Both sides. That's the wiring from the from the switch. I've pulled that off already, and we're just ready to pull the front off. So there's the picture with the the cover off the upper part of the front. One other thing you want to keep handy is the shop back. What you're going to find is all along in here, you're going to get a lot of lint built up. This whole area here. You get some up in there, up in the top. The back of the cover here, it'll all get built up around in there too, so. It's a good job, you wanna check your maintenance instructions to find out just how often you should vacuum it out, but any chance you you do, you wanna get in there and vacuum it. Uh, what I can see here is this roller here. What happened is one of these failed last week. I didn't have any spares, so I put on one that uh, was hoping to get me by. You'll see this one here, It's or in a little bit, that one there, it's got the rubber has gone off it completely. So we'll go through, what we just need to do is, there's a nut down on the inside here, we pull that off. We normally don't have to pull this side off and just slide a new uh, bearing on there. And we'll be good to go. All right, so what we got here is we got the, the bearings that we're taking off. This is a new one here. See, it's got the, the bearing in the center and the metal and the, probably like a polypropylene or something on there, that's what uh, wears down a little. This is one that's partially worn. Um, got a bit of life out of this, it kind of bought us some time over the weekend. And this is the one where the it just wore down enough, the rubber just came completely apart. They're easy enough to reach in there and feel them once in a while just to see if they're wearing out. Uh, so when you get to this far, you find out how the drum shifts and it starts to wear on the, the edge of the housing. So we'll get these two back on. Again, normally, 90, about 90% 90 of the time you can do this by just pulling the lint drawer out. You don't have to take the whole front off, but I just wanted to have a look in there, make sure everything was good, and had a bit of time, so I figured I'd vacuum it out while I'm here. We'll get these new ones in and check out how it's turning. So, there's what it looks like with the new bearings in there. You can see they're sitting on there. We still gotta get the front on to check, but you know our gap on this side is equal to the gap on that side. You just wanna check this edge. We knew it was rubbing on it. Just to make sure there's no sharp edges, it hasn't worn through. It's uh, got a bit of a groove there, but it should still be okay. Give this thing a spin. Rolls nice and clean and straight. It's got a little bit of play to move it. So when you're putting these in, you just reach down underneath here, you put your socket in on the inside of here. You can see down through the grating here a little. So your socket just goes inside of here and you just put a bit of pressure up on the drum, get that um, roller put on and then tighten the nut on. So give it a quick little wipe and then we'll put the cover back on. 
get the cover back on. It's not screwed in yet. I got a couple of screws just holding it so it doesn't fall off, but it's sitting right in place. What I'm going to do is just give the drum a roll just to make sure there's no problems before we get it all bolted back together. But we're looking pretty good, so back to the bolts. So that's all there is to it. It's uh, started up. Just Want to make sure it's running. One thing you want to do whenever you pull these out, because there's a bunch of wires in there, once you put it back in, just check and make sure your coins are going to go through. Sometimes the wires will get caught up in in the coin drop part at the back, and you put the money in it, just it'll start jamming up. So just want to make sure everything's running before you leave. Check the top and the bottom, make sure all the all the wires are connected, and uh, you know you got your door switches connected back again and stuff. So see now this thing's running good. Heating up, it's turning, not making any noise, and got a nice roll to it. So that's all there is to it. It takes about as long as it took to watch this video to get one of these changed. Pull the cover off, vacuum it out, and put some new bearings in. So if you got any questions, uh, leave me a comment below. If you got some information from this, uh, please comment, like, and share. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.